Hey Jackals, do you know what's crazy if you have a gaming monitor that it can die if you play this video on it? Just look at how mine behaves. Give me a second to turn it on. Jokes aside, if you have a gaming monitor with high refresh rate and it looks something like mine, it could be one of the things. It could be your GPU, which you can replace, but if it's the monitor, like in my case, you can't do anything about it. Well, you can fix it and you can extend its lifetime a little bit longer. And I'll show you how you might be able to do that. Now in my case, because the monitor is always turning on and off, I can't really use the on-screen display. As you can see, the on-screen display disappears when the monitor turns off. Now what I did is I went into my graphics card control panel, in this case NVIDIA's. This is the monitor in question. As you can see, the refresh rate is at 144 Hz. And by sheer dumb luck, I lowered this to 60 Hz to see what will happen. Let me apply it. Well, look at that. The monitor is now always on. It still has the artifacting going on but it doesn't turn off and on. It's still unusable. Now with a little bit of googling, not for this particular problem, what I've done is I made a custom resolution. So customize, create a custom resolution. I'll leave the native resolution as is, but the refresh rate, I'll lower it down to 50. As for the panels, I think the lowest they have at the moment is 48. So don't go lower than that. Then test it. And do you see that? The monitor is actually working. So now we just need to apply it. This resolution will be at the top. And now if I can zoom this in on the camera, I have no idea if it will pick up. So it's picking up a little blips of pixels and occasional lines popping up, but at least this makes the monitor usable again. At least for a second one, unless your second monitor is busted up and looks like this. And in this case, these are cracks and this is not fixable. Now when my monitor died, I got in contact with ViewSonic to see if they can fix the issue. First, I would have to pay about 50 euros just to diagnose the problem. I pushed a little bit and described what the problem is. They took it to the technicians only to then let me know that the panel is dead. And at that point, I just started to mess with the monitor because, well, you can break it if it's already broken. And why do I say that? Because replacing a panel monitor is not actually worth it. It will cost you about the same as if you buy a new one. Now before I finish the video, because this is a gaming monitor, I'll just show you that you can actually play games. I'll use League of Legends as an example. And we just have to wait until I load in so that I can change the settings. Okay, so now in the settings, under the video tab, if you want to use full screen, you can, but you have to use it windowed or borderless. Don't use it as a full screen application, it needs to have a windowed mode. Otherwise, well, let's just see what happens. So it's the same as it was in the beginning. And that's it, fixed. But this is not meant for a competitive play. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if this fixed your monitor and if you want to see DaVinci Resolve and video editing content, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital. Ah!